The capital, Beijing, has just lifted many of its COVID-19 restrictions. The economy and people's daily lives are taking another step back to normalcy. But some pandemic prevention and control measures will stay in place. And now let's hear the latest from our reporter Dai Kai who's been covering this in downtown Beijing. Hi there, Kai So what are the major changes as the, as the city lifts restrictions? Yes, that's right, Mama. Beginning today, Beijing no longer requires negative test results or two weeks of health monitoring for those arriving from other low-risk areas in China. And this effectively applies to travelers from the Chinese mainland, which has not reported any locally transmitted cases for weeks. And those rules began in late January when the travel rush started ahead of the Lunar New Year holiday. And travelers had to get tested again seven days and then 14 days after their arrival. Now, upon arrival, they only need to show a green travel code on their mobile devices and pass a temperature check. And intercity taxi and ride-hailing services were suspended, but have fully resumed now. And colleges and universities, again, allow students to apply to leave campus as needed. But overseas tours remain suspended. Meanwhile, parks, tourist sites, libraries, museums and theaters will be allowed to receive visitors up to 75 percent capacity. And sports events with less than 1,000 participants and conferences with less than 500 participants will also be allowed in the city. Back to you, Mama. Yeah, and now are we seeing an increase of booking and travel and perhaps entertainment activities as a result of all this? Yes, that's right. First of all, I have to say that the rule change has drastically lowered demand for testing in Beijing, and crowds have thinned at test centers and hospitals. But patients at fever clinics, inpatients, and other key groups still need to get tested. And medical experts say the nucleic acid tests will remain a type of public health service. And bookings for flights to and from Beijing and hotel reservations in the city have risen sharply now that people can travel more freely. And Beijing, sorry, China has two public holidays coming up uh, and the traditional tomb sweeping festival in early April and the International Workers' Day at the beginning of May. And those are usually travel peaks, so we're likely to see the same this year. And data shows that the number of searches for flight tickets during tomb sweeping day is up three times, while International Workers' Day is up 1.2 times since yesterday. Until now, the number of bookings for flight tickets and hotel reservations for International Workers' Day has surpassed the same period in 2019. And tourism numbers will continue to look up as long as the virus continues to remain under control. Back to you, Mama. All right. Thank you so much. Our reporter Dai Kai giving us the latest there.